Takwimu zinaonyesha kwamba takriban asilimia nane ya watu ulimwenguni wanaugua ugonjwa wa kisukari aina ya type 2 ambayo madaktari wanasema kwamba mara nyingi uchangiwa pakubwa na miondoko ya kimaisha umri miongoni mwa sababu nyingine. Hata hivyo madaktari wanaonya kwamba mtu yeyote anayeugua ugonjwa wa kisukari yuko kwenye hatari ya kuathirika miguu. Tatizo ambalo humweka kwenye hatari ya kupata maambukizi ambayo yanaweza kusababisha hata mguu wake kukatwa. Daktari wa mishipa ya fahamu Jill Hadip kutoka hospitali ya Mpisha anasema kwamba mguu wa binadamu unasalia kuwa mojawapo ya viungo vya mwili ambavyo hupata majeraha kwa wingi mno. Ndipo sa ipo haja ya mtu yeyote anayeugua kisukari kuwa makini na kukagua miguu yake kila mara kuangalia iwapo ana jeraha lolote. The foot is one of the um, areas that gets affected and it's essentially uh, infection with destruction of the deep tissues of the foot uh, and this is associated with damage to their nerves what we call peripheral neuropathy and um, damage to their blood vessels as well what we call vasculopathy and um, combination of this leads to a diabetic foot they have damage to their sensory nerves these are nerves that are involved in sensation they have damage to their motor nerves these are nerves involved with movement of muscles and joints daktari jill anasema kwamba tatizo kwenye mguu anayeugua kisukari husababishwa na viwango vya sukari kwenye damu kuwa juu kwa muda mrefu we would say about 150 to 200 patients every month um, of those uh, who would be having um, poorly controlled sugars would probably be half of them and uh, they do get managed pretty well after that uh, those who present with um, features of uh, early diabetic feet where i would say reduced sensation and reduced motor activity uh, that would probably be about let's say 10 or 20 per month Anashauri kwamba iwapo unaugua ugonjwa wa kisukari ni sharti uwe makini na kupata ushauri wa daktari endapo utahisi dalili kama mguu wako kufa ganzi, kuwa na vidonda au vimbe kwenye mguu ambao mara nyingi huwa si uchungu na rangi ya ngozi ya mguu kubadilika miongoni mwa dalili zingine. When they walk on the floor they feel as if they are walking on cotton wool or the sense, sensation might be increased quite a bit to the point where they actually feel pins and needles in the foot a term that we call peripheral neuropathy and that is because the insulation of the nerves comes off anasisitiza kwamba ni shanti mtu akague miguu yake kila siku na kuiosha vyema aidha ni shanti wakati kucha zao kwa umakinifu ili kuepuka kusababisha jeraha kwenye mguu ikizingatiwa kwamba vidonda kwenye miguu yao huwa haiponi kwa haraka na pia kuepuka kuvaa viatu vilivyo wazi kama champali ili kudhibiti majeraha kwenye miguu So check your feet daily um, wash your feet daily use antifungal creams antifungal foot powder Uh, between the toes hata hivyo ni sharti mtu yote apate kujua hali yake kwa kupimwa kisukari ili kuepuka ugonjwa huo gloria milimu k24 makala ya raina siha